Hello YouTube, and today I have an unboxing, installation tutorial, and review for you of the 4-port USB 3.0 PCIe card from Inertech. This card is designed for people who have a desktop PC and wish to add or expand their number of USB 3.0 ports. You will require a free PCIe slot to install the device which is capable of super speed USB data transfer rates of up to 5 gigabits per second. Importantly for anyone looking to buy this device is that it is backwards compatible with all other USB devices and another nice feature is that it doesn't require any additional power connections. So let's get this box open by removing the shrink wrap like so. Then we have a frustration free unboxing by simply lifting the flap. Firstly we have the card itself in an anti-static bag which we'll take a look at in a second. Next, we have some product return information if we have any faults with our product, followed by a detailed instruction manual which will get you sorted in terms of fitting the card and installing the necessary drivers. Finally, we have the drivers on an installation CD. Now let's take a look at the product itself after we remove it from its anti-static bag. We can see the board has been well made and looks neat, which is a good sign. We can see the mounting bracket with four USB 3.0 ports on the back, which is what you'll be able to see from the outside of your case. At 90 degrees to this, we have the PCIe X1 pins, which we're going to plug into our motherboard. On first impressions, I'm impressed, so let's get this card installed in a PC. Once I have safely turned off my computer and removed the side panel of my case, we can see the motherboard. Here is a PCIe X1 slot, which I've already taken up using my wireless card, and below it, we can see the longer PCIe X16 slot, which I'm going to use to install the USB 3.0 card. It can be done in either slot, whichever you have free on your particular motherboard. The next step is to remove the back plate that lines up with the slot you're going to use. I have a simple metal case, so to remove the plate we just have to give it a bend until it snaps off. Next, we need to look at the pins on the card and see the shape of them as we need to line them up with the slot like so and gently push it in. We can see the card's weight is now on the slot, so to prevent it from damaging our motherboard we simply need to insert one of the provided screws like so. It's a bit of a fizzle depending on your case, but it can be done. Now we can turn the computer back on. You're going to need a disk drive for this step to insert the driver CD, which is relatively easy, but I'll quickly go through it. Remember that this is for Windows only. Once you've inserted the disk, launch the auto disk setup. Then, once the inner tech menu loads, click the drivers link. I have a green card, so I'm going to click the green NEC chip button. And after a little wait, we need to give it permission for the setup launcher to install the drivers. And once it's done, click next, read and accept the license agreement, wait for it to install, and then you're done. Windows recognizes the USB 3.0 hub and it's ready to use. Performance is great. USB 2 users will definitely notice an improved speed, while people who have used USB 3.0 before will enjoy being able to plug more USB 3 devices into their PC. It's definitely a recommended buy. That's it for this video. Thanks to Inertech for hooking me up with this product. Check the links in the description and leave any questions in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.